poppin', yo? It's your boy, Dizzy Wright, and you're watching Urban Media. In Vegas, had to show these niggas what's dedication. True. More than music, it's more than life than trying to figure out who gonna be the next uh -huh. to make it. Put in work and guarantee a show. show. Real nigga, you just a GI Joe. Joe. Believe I go see my growth. I'm trying to get my real life looking like the TI show. Man, I swear to God, I hate swearing to God. Whoa. Tell the stage down, I ain't sweating the job. Whoa. I'm looking good and I'm swagging out. And I'm the next to blow, and you the next to flop. Right. Uh, me and my crew, we started putting all this stuff together. And I just became real popular and like the cool guy. And then I got my music played in the club that I was throwing parties at. And when I heard my song loud and everybody party into it, it just made me want to go hard. It just like, that like gave me the motivation to, to get all my music in the club, you know? So I started making music specifically for the club, you know? So, but I wasn't doing music videos to any of that stuff. I was doing music videos to all my real sheep. Dedicate my life just so you can hear me speak on it. Some, but I was, releasing all this party stuff for the club because I was throwing the parties, like, you know, I enjoyed it. So, um, then I went through this whole soul searching process where I was just trying to find myself. I started getting older, I had a daughter on the way, all this stuff like that. And um, just started becoming a different person and started finding myself within my music and I was just dropping a lot of visuals, putting out a lot of music. I just had a lot to say, you know. I was all in the loop, all in the mix, I was everywhere. You know, I wasn't trying to make a dollar, I was just trying to get hurt. So, um, it started working out in my favor because I was doing things differently than everybody else in Vegas. So, I pretty much started creating my own footsteps. And then that's how Funk Volume seen me. Because I did a bunch of stuff, like, I did Wild Out Wednesday in 106 in Park, I did that twice. First time I won, the second time I lost by 1%. I did like Blazing Stage, I did the Chic Def Jam music competition and won that shit. Like just a bunch of like, like my little underground stuff that, <clears throat> that I did that got me to even be exposed to Funk Volume. And then Dame came out and uh, saw some of my shows, he tried to reach out. And uh, I was a little salty, cause you know the game is shady man. My nigga, we getting straight to it and making the way. Making the way. You playing the dance, you playing the fake, but I'm paying the way. I'm paying the way. I painted my skin. 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 Liquor all up in my face. 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 I'm sipping on gin. gin. Finna take a road trip to the A. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm smoking weed, staying out of trouble. But um, I was able to look up hops in the Swiss. Proud of the niggas that found me. Funk volume all in your face. Flintstone better get going all about my chips, cause I'm Vegas race. And um. And then I was able to go to California and link up with them. And uh, we kicked it for a week and they was normal. And uh, it just, I felt like I fit right in, but I still look so different, you know? Like, cause we all have a message and you know, we real, how can I say this? Uh, strong opinionated like we uh aggressive with our word like we only speak about what we know and you know we apply our beliefs to our music and that's what made me feel like i would fit in but i come from uh i just come from a different world you know and that's expressed in my music and that's how i figured i would stand out so i just figured it was like the perfect fit for me it was small, I didn't have to deal with a lot of people. It wasn't like all over the place. Everything was organized, professional. And it just, it's just like the perfect place for me to be, man. Just for me to be Dizzy Wright. I get to, I get to be me, travel the world, you know, smoke trees, provide for my daughter, for my family. And uh, I don't know, it's just making me a better person. So it all worked out. Nobody's going to change for you and most of the time people are going through what they're going through because they're going through something that has nothing to do with you.